So I'll go over here, here's my camera. I need to first go to my layer visibility and make sure that summer is turned on. So there's all my summer entourage. Next, uh, let's go back to our effect stack and let's just start at the bottom, all right? So real skies, you know, I didn't spend much time on here, but you can select a real sky and I'm pretty satisfied with the one that we're on when it comes to a summer day. Uh, you could also uh, make the, the argument that like a clear day would be good for that hazy summer feeling. Um, I like that too, and the clouds kind of landed in a nice way. And of course, you can adjust the heading any way you like. But the truth is that the way it's landing right now, I'm getting my, uh, I'm just looking for those uh, shadows to kind of hit that curve. And I think that looks pretty cool with those soft shadows. All right, so we've got our, our summer sky. Um, let's just keep building. We, we've taken care of page two. Back to page one. I don't mess with skylight. Um, shadows are taken care of. Reflections are taken care of. Um, let's see. Everything is really taken care of. What's going to really get us that effect is going to be lens flare. It's going to help a lot. So if you go with like that master brightness, you can really get that like that feeling when the sun is just pounding down and like just really bright out. Maybe you just walked outside and it's just like. Um, just that super hazy summer day. So we'll you know, turn that up and kind of get that kind of really bright glow going. And for this, I really only mess with the bloom amount and the master brightness. So we're good there. Uh, layer visibility we took care of, outlines, noise, and then the last piece of this is going to be color correction. And I would lean towards a warmer feel on this image. So to get that really warm, hazy summer day, we're gonna just warm that image up Again, you know, just use these things sparingly. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so um, we're in good shape. That is our hazy summer effect. I'm gonna go to my menu and click File and choose Save Effects, and I'm gonna call this one BD underscore, and we'll call this Hazy Summer, and hit Enter. Save that one for later. When we save our effect stacks, that way we can just load them in whenever we want, uh, either on this project or another project, easy to tweak them. You don't have to reinvent that wheel every single time you make a new rendering.